Hello, my name is Darren and I am a trumpet player and I'm here to introduce you to the trumpet. This is what a trumpet looks like. It's made of brass. It's been around a very long time. Not looking like this, but there's evidence that suggests that they were around in the ancient Egyptian times. I believe that trumpets were found in the tomb of Tutankhamun. So they've been around a very, very long time. We have a mouthpiece which comes out. Yeah. And then the trumpet amplifies what I do into the mouthpiece. The air travels through and then eventually comes out the bell. So by not using the valves, I have open notes, a harmonic series of C, G, C, E, G. Okay, and then to change pitch, as well as me changing my lips and the speed of the air, I also have valves which help. And the way they help is by not using the valves, the air, as I said, travels through and out it goes. When I push down, say, the second valve, when it gets to the valve, that valve that I push down, it makes the air go on a slightly different journey, on a longer journey, and as a result, changes the pitch. Okay. And so on and so forth. And so all the notes are possible. The trumpet is a great instrument because it gets all the tunes. Okay, whenever you listen to famous Hollywood scores, Hollywood movies, it's always the trumpet that gets the best tunes. Okay, big heroic fanfare type tunes or themes, but it can also be used to play softly and a bit more mellow. Here we go with a very famous TV theme. Of course, Coronation Street. Okay, so the trumpet is found in concert bands, wind bands, orchestras, jazz bands, big bands. And there's also a smaller version called a cornet, which you find in brass bands. So there's lots of opportunity to play the trumpet or cornet in lots of different ensembles. Something trumpet players or cornet players also use are what's called mutes to help change the sound. This is a straight mute, and it gives it like a toy effect. Okay, there's the straight mute. Another mute we have is called a cup mute, I suppose because it looks like a, a cup. Yeah. A bit more of a soft, mellower sound for this. A nice soft mellow sound there for the cut mute. Another mute we have, this can be used in two ways. This is called a harmon mute, so I can use it with the wah wah, which gives it a very sort of 20s, 1920s, 1930s sound.
Okay. I can take that Harmon Wawa out. And then it's more of a cool Miles Davis type sound. Very nice jazzy sound there. And the last mute that I'm going to show you today is what's called a plunger mute. And this actually is a plunger. If I had a stick on there, I could unblock a sink if you had a block sink. Okay, and these were used a lot in the 20s and 30s because it is very good for emulating the human voice. They were used a lot for backing blue singers. So here we go with a, a jazzy tune and my plunger. And I'm going to be using something called flutter tonguing or growling to make it even more jazzy. Here we go with the Pink Panther. Okay, so that's the plunger mute. This is the trumpet. I hope you decide to play the trumpet. It's given me lots of fun over the years. I've played it all over the world. That's all I've ever done. Great fun to play. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon.